what I want to talk to you about now is your, the saw body or your plate uh, thickness. Very, very critical. Because I know a lot of you guys out there uh, who do the trim work for houses want that perfect miter joint. When you're, come, when you're putting your joint together, you want that joint to be perfect. Let me ask you if you've ever had this problem. You go out, you buy a nice chop saw, four, three, four hundred, five hundred dollar chop saw, and you cut with the blade that's on there, and you're doing some you know, four inch crown molding. And you go to put your joint together, and it hits in the middle, and you got a gap to the top or bottom. Well, you've just experienced a thin plate saw blade giving you deflection. And it might have the right hook angle, and it might have a lot of teeth, which is what you want when you're doing a fine cross cut, but you're still getting that belly in the middle of the cut. That's because your saw plate isn't heavy enough. We have uh, lower end uh, or thinner kerf saw bodies for sale for low horsepower machines. And then we have for, for picture framers or for serious trim carpenters, we have a heavier body. And that will completely eliminate that uh, uh, pencil line gapping that you get. If you put a pencil line down and you cut it with this saw blade, you'll be able to split that line and you'll see it all the way down. It will be a perfect joint. But that's why you need a heavier duty saw blade. So if you've ever had that trouble, you have to go to a slightly heavier saw body and that will eliminate that trouble.